hello and welcome I'm Impact Friends. I hope you are enjoying your holidays. In this video we're going to take a look at if one up console gen, which is this workflow that I have here. What this workflow do is basically take your character from an old console, a retro console like the PlayStation 1, Sega Saturn, Nintendo GameCube, you know, the Wii, everything. And it will make it like current generation. So you have here, this thing is similar to the Magnific AI uh, service that is an online service that you have to pay like 40 quid, but in here it's cheap, free, actually. So you don't have to pay anything to use it as long as you have a machine that can run this thing. I put it free on the internet so everyone can use it. Maybe I'm going to update this workflow later down the line and maybe I'm going to be making it only for patrons or maybe only for the people in coffee that support me. But for now you have this late Christmas gift from me and let me show you how to use it. So basically we have the image loader section. As you can see, everything is in, on its own section, so you can run this on a lower grade machine. You can disable some parts. So you have, for example, the control nets in here. If you have a difficult time with an image, you can try using a control net. But as you can see here, all this result is only using IP adapter. It's not using even control net. Let me know if you can run this in a lower grade car. And yeah, to start using it, you just come in here and you will go into your input folder inside the config UI directory and create a new folder called uh, Retro Comeback because I was planning to name this Retro Comeback and put your images in there. It can be named anything, but you have to change the name in here, okay? So if you want to use uh, one by one, you can just blow the file in here, but if you want to use all the images in that folder that I just told you, you just connect this image to the scale to pix and then come into the queue menu here and say extra options and select how many pictures you want to process and basically run the queue and it will run each one one by one until it finish, okay? And it will upgrade your uh, character to a current generation that you have in there. So in here, in the prom analysis, you have two ways to get the prom analysis. You can use Deep Damburu, which is the one that I prefer, or you can come in here and press Ctrl B and select the Blip Analyzer one. If you want that, just connect it to Text A and that's it. You can select here the style. You have different stylers in Focus, and you can select maybe futuristic sci-fi impressionist uh, hyper realism if you want to be creative and do like a uh, different stuff but i like the photographic one and that's what i'm gonna use also you have option to put things that are difficult to come up like a um, difficult concept i put like a manual description in here but if you are using the automatic one for on the queue run the queue thing you can just leave this empty or put anything that you think will be good in here. So at the end you will have a final prompt and then it passes this into the first sampler where all the magic occurs and you can see here because it's using the interactive mixer it's getting all this picture really cool. It upscaled the picture at 1.5 I think. Yes 1.5 and then you get your first result. Then you can also select like if maybe if you don't want the person detailer or you can disable it or enable it. Um, the second thing it goes is in the person detailer that will try to fix the hands and the face and the whole character actually. But you have to have like a quite a good hand already. So if you don't have a good hand, you can go into the seat and try to run this uh, with everything disabled first disable the face detailer and the person detailer and also the in painting mode and in here uh, select a uh, random and run the thing until you get like a good hand or maybe you can help them all by passing this into photoshop or krita and draw a little bit better hand just enough so that the mall catch up everything that is in there. You can enable one of the control nets in here and see if that helps you to get the, the good result. And to enable that, of course, you go into a control net, enable it here, and then you select how many you want. For example, if I want this one and I don't want that one, the last one, I just connect the positive into the input one, into the select one uh, switcher. 
and in here I select one and now I can select this control nets and I will disable this one because I don't need it so I put control V but if you want to use that one just uh, control V connect this positive positive in here it's already connected and then the positive into this one and now you are using also a liner okay if you want to see everything inside that you can just convert to nodes and you can see all the parts of that node so the in painting mode you can put something more in here in the prompt if you want and that will be passed into the face detailer and the person detailer and then you have the option to add another another Laura in here for example for Lara Croft I went ahead into a person detailer and added a Lara Croft in here and you have it like in separate places because if you add one Lara Croft in here and one Lara Croft in here you get double the amount and if you have someone like Angelina Jolie for example she will she will be very bony in the first picture and in the second picture she will be an skeleton this will upscale finally the image twice the size and you have like um, a display of the current size of the image and this is how it will become and unfortunately you can only see it when it's running so well that was all for the video i hope it, it was helpful i hope you enjoy this uh, workflow and let me know what you think and if you will be using it what you want to add to it and yeah thank you very much for watching and i hope you have a wonderful beautiful next year with all your dreams come true um, amazing. So, bye-bye.